Okay, this video is going to demonstrate the latest Geometry Gym project, which is to generate uh, neutral BIM or uh, models of structure that you can actually export into other modeling programs such as ARCHICAD, Tekla, etc. If you don't know Grasshopper already, there's probably worth watching a couple of other introductory videos, but uh, basically it captures the modeling process so that when inputs change, the solution updates rather than manually repeating steps time and time again. So what this example is going to show is basically a tower mass model production and I've pre-prepared some of the components including generating some points along elevation uh, that represent the story levels in this particular tower. Now it updates and responds if I move the curves around to the actual height and I've put a slider on here for the floor to floor height so that it can add more levels etc as needed. Uh, um, based on that floor to floor height and the distance between the upper and lower curves. Now, Geometry Gym provides some specialist components that actually enable or, uh, capture the intelligence of, say, the building at attributes or aspects of this model. So, I can create a global building and I've created a string here to give it a name. Um, and then that will be captured and updated in the, in the model as it's sent to the external BIM program. The next thing I want to do then is create a building story at each particular level. So I can associate the, each building story with that particular building. I've generated a string, a list of names here for each story level. And the other thing then I want to do is actually show which elevation the stories occur at. So I can use the number, the series of numbers that I've generated here to actually identify the elevation and height of each of these locations. Here it's a uniform list of numbers, but it could have been created from a spreadsheet, etc., using some of the other um, Grasshopper plugins and tools. The next thing I want to do then is actually, I, what I have at the moment is three profile curves for this tower skin, and I want to actually intersect or create that skin, and then intersect each of the floor levels to find the slab outline or perimeter at each particular level. So I can use the Grasshopper tools to create that. I can loft through the, the profile curves to give me a, a surface through the height of the tower and again that's parametric so if I actually change the profile curve location the shape updates uh, and the next thing then I want to do is intersect that surface uh, with each elevation uh, the plane of each story so under intersect I can do an intersection between a breadth and a plane and use the elevation point as the, the origin of each plane and then you can see that it's generated an outline curve uh, representing the tower slab at each particular level. The next thing I want to do is actually perhaps make a slab with some thickness. Uh, so you'll see under the IFC I've started writing quite a few of the geometrical um, operations as other programs such as ARCHICAD etc will understand it. So I can plug the profile curve in for an extrusion now I need to tell it a direction and a depth for extrusion. So I can use a grasshopper vector to do that. I can say I want to extrude it in the Z direction and I can use a number slider to actually control the, the depth of the, of the slab. My document's in millimeters so I'm just quickly going to change the slider type to integers and vary the slab depth from 100 to 500 millimeters um, and so I can control the slab. And I'll also quickly just make it a negative direction so that the curve represents the top of slab rather than the bottom. So if I wire that into the extrusion, what you see now is it has generated the, uh, the slabs with, with the depth. What's nice about Grasshopper is if I actually edit the control points or, or update, as I said, any of the profile curves, the whole thing recalculates. So, the next thing we want to do, these are just geometrical representations and software such as uh, ARCHICAD, etc. wants to know whether things are slabs, walls, columns, etc. So, under the components you'll find there's a building element component where I can set the type of the, of the element that, that we're creating and I can also then um, Y in the representation and associate it with a particular building's a spatial awareness. So I'm going to use a building story. Just one thing to be aware of if data matching, data data path matching. So I, if I graphed it, then 
I'll end up with my, my 12 stories in this particular tower. The next thing, last thing to do then is we need to export this model um, so that we can read it in other software. So baking is when, in Grasshopper, when the objects go from virtual to frozen in the Rhino document. There's a special bake button for the plugin that enables you to, to, to save the IFC data into an IFC model file. I can then go to software such as Archicad and open and import this. and you'll see the ARCHICAD model updates then with the attributes we've just generated so we'll see here in a second the stories will up, um, update So we can see here now we have our 12 stories and if we set the view you can see it's generated the slabs with thickness and we could go back and, uh, and recreate and try a new shape or form and carry on modeling it downstream. So there's lots of ideas and improvements on the way for this. Please download it, try it. You can download this example file from the blog and I look forward to hearing your feedback.